What's good y'all? Today I'm back with another video and I will be talking about everything you need to know about Vasto Car and the Vasto Lorde, whichever you want to call it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And first things first, I'll briefly go over how to get it. You need the third state of Hollow Evolution, which is called Adracar or Ajuchis, I think. No, Adracar is the RN car version, yeah. Ajuchis. Then you go around killing Ajuchar NPCs and or players until you get 50 mass cracks, at which point you need to kill another Ajuchis with 50 mass cracks. By the way, you gain a unique visual at 50 where you become an albino with red hair. You become a red Ajuchis with red hair. White Ajuchis with red hair. And after you kill him, you need to go find the Vastalorde, which you'll be pointed to, and that's about all you need to do. Then you just eat him, and boom, Vastalorde. Do, do have to be careful though, if you do die at the Vastalorde fight, and only at the Vastalorde fight, you will lose your potential to become Vastal forever, even with fragments. Now, that being said, I'll go over the abilities of Vastal, Vastal Car, because Vastalorde is not that unique. It's pre pretty trash. You want to tear your mask off as soon as possible. There is the Cero Oscurus, which you all know is just a stronger Cero. And as, as, a, as the description says, it's just a higher tier of Cero with higher his Cero scaling. And you also get five extra stat points via being able to eat two red pills. And maybe slightly higher base stats than normal rank cars, which are Agile cars. Now... On top of that, I would like to compare these to Visard, uh, which is the um, Soul Reaper variant for, or Soul Reaper Ultimate Race version, which I'll be referring to Vastokar, Visard, and Let's Still as Ultimate Races, because they're pretty hard to get, and they're, they're, to me, they're, should, they should be kind of in the same classification. So, Visard, what Visard gains is kind of like the same Sarah as us, but only in their Visard form. Their stats also become elevated. And they have different variants. So let's. It makes floating strikes a guard break, which is a pretty quick move that you most of the time block, which is pretty good. And fast fang Danmir becomes a, a flash step. So apart, uh, going through that, uh, in Bankai, their Sero also auto executes, which is the same as our resurrection. In resurrection, our Sero gets bigger, I believe, which is the only difference between us. Our Sero gets bigger, and it also auto executes. Now. Comparing these two things, uh, you might think that Visor is slightly stronger, uh, or actually quite a bit stronger, but it's due to the fact that it's a mode and not always active, kind of like a passive race that you just get and you always have, like Vastokar is, where you don't really need to charge anything up, but you'd be pretty wrong about that. The reason being that Vast uh, Visor, does Visor mode does not have a cooldown at all, and that being said, it is also not that difficult to charge up, not even like, at, like at all. And as you can see, his vast or visor meter fills up like it's nobody's business. It is extremely quick, and it's just ridiculous, in my opinion at least. Now going over, let's still is kind of well difficult because no Quincy. I've only fought one let's still user, and to be honest, it was pretty unfair because they also had miracle. Just to say, this that recording was made <clears throat> way before Nano made his Let's Still Plus Miracle video, so I'll be going over some new information that I gathered. It's the fact that Let's Still, when activated, gives you uh, a health boost or heals you up. Also, buffs your defense by quite a lot, and your arrows become replaced by the cylinder-looking thing I described, which, um, now that I look back, I did not have Hiero, so that's probably why I did nearly a bar to me. And, uh, yeah, I feel like it's still pretty, like, way more busted than Vasto is because of combat potential. So, yeah, just putting it out there that, yeah, I kind of missed that because there was no information at the time. So, let's continue with the video. And, as I was saying, I got my ass pretty much whooped by the Let's Still user because from the, from the one move I could discern, they had kind of like a cero ish move. I don't really know how to describe it. Imagine a big cylinder just in the form of like a beam in front of you. And I think it was fired from a bow and arrow. So basically it's like a mini Cero that does like a bar of your health. I think it did it through my hero as well. I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. I was more trying to just fight. But I believe I had hero on and I looked down and it did a bar, which is crazy to me. So, I mean, the balancing, I can't really speak to for let's still. 
but it might just be visored. But I'm pretty sure Let's Still is just as busted, given they have pretty damaging moves that go in bursts, which makes them even more like zoning demon. They make it makes them pretty like good at zoning. It's not even pretty. It makes them really good at zoning. And comparatively to Vastokar, it is pretty bad. And I feel like I have a reasoning for this. It was because on release, Vastokar was never meant to be in like a public thing. It was only announced like 24 hours after or something after release, or way way like 24 hours later, that it was achievable. So it was like kind of like a rush thing, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure they rushed it because the blowback from all the Adrocar that wanted to become Vastokar or people just asking for it, so they decided to just make a way weaker version, which is fine, you know, it's not really fine, but compared to the, like, polished versions of the lesser ones, like, pol like the I'm pretty sure they took their time polishing Visor, polishing Let's Still, and then it was never really their intention to make Vastokar a thing, so they had to rush it. So I'm here to just speak on that, and yeah, it's, it's pretty rushed in my opinion. Now, potential ways that can buff uh, Vastokars is one, well, the most known thing about Vasto cars, or just Aran cars in general, is Sony Doe, which we don't have. So, you could get, it, they could gain, like, a slightly fl uh, faster flash step. We also know that Vasto cars, or maybe just Okiora, I'm not sure about that, gains regeneration. So, we may, we should, or maybe could get Reatsu Re Re passive regen, slightly higher, or HP passive regen. And apart from that, um... The more like fitting things because Vastokar consume things like for example the red pill you don't just get five extra stat points you need to get a red pill and that's how you get the five extra stat points so I was thinking that maybe Vastokars could um, use a third hero where they get up to like 30 hero and they get mastery three and on top of that like maybe one passive which is not that crazy maybe like slightly higher Ryatsu regen or like like Per, like passive HP regeneration in combat, which it doesn't really need to be all that good, even just something to like put it on the level as this other races because it is stronger than normal races by quite a bit. I would say, like, it's worth it in my opinion. If you want to go for it, like, just go for it, it's pretty cool. But in terms to put it on the same level as the other lesser ultimate races, because no, no one's really getting true Vasto or true Visored or true Let Still or whatever the fuck, so. In terms of actually, like, putting it on the same level, I feel like a third hero plating, uh, maybe one passive, and making so that it's, like, it's Sero is a little bit more unique compared to the visor because, as, as it stands now, the only difference is that, well, during Resurrection, ours gets bigger, which, shit, who knows, maybe during their Bankai, their visor Sero also gets bigger, that I don't know. But, yes, this was just a video speaking my mind. Maybe the devs would see it. I would like to hear your opinions as well on this if you are a Vastokar. I'm pretty sure you have noticed that we are quite a bit weaker than the other ultimate races. Like, if you fought a Visor, you know, you know they're a lot stronger than us. Which makes really no sense because I don't think... Like this much grinding, which would, which generally takes days. It took me like two days because I was pretty lucky with getting Adra, Adra, Ajuchars or Ajakar, no Ajachars. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, I would just those are my uh, opinions on what they could buff. As I said, third hero plating, one passive of maybe passive Riatsu regen, or just more Riatsu in general, or slightly slight HP regeneration because Okira displayed it in Bleach and you know and for those of you suggesting that they nerf the grind because Vestokar is not worth the grind that would just make it so that the other races are way stronger than it and uh, it will just become frustrating for everyone that do does have it the only reason you don't hear it being said as much is because no one really has it because of the grind so I feel like its power should be upped and not the grind should be lowered because that would upset the balance between the three ultimate races so i hope that makes sense for anyone asking plus it would be unfair for everyone who got it already it's like saying hey fuck all of you so just avoid that entire problem and just buff vastokar like to get them on the same level or compete you know, as, to compete to other races with other races at least if you get what i mean well, that was my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.
And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing y'all in the future. I'm planning to make more type soul content, maybe suggestions more and more ganking videos. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace out. Have a good day. And see you later. Pussy boy. <laughs>